A neighborhood on the Littleton Air border is still underwater more than a week since our terrible rainstorm, and here the problem isn't rain. It's a nearby culvert that's blocked, and the people who live there are fed up. Karen Anderson is live in Littleton tonight with the story. Karen? Well, this is the problem right here. We're on Route 119. I'm going to let you take a look behind me. Here they're doing the work to clear the culvert. Right now it's blocked, acting like a dam. It's the only way out for water in Spectacle Pond, so it's backing up. And one homeowner took us out for a first-hand look. This is the road. This is all open, typically, and dry. But you'd never know it from our drive with Suzanne Boudreau out to her home, which is now on an island in the middle of Spectacle Pond. I've been out here almost 20 years. I've never seen it like this. Suzanne's been without water for six days. Just coming over and washing your hands, and I keep forgetting. I'll come over and I'll go to wash my hands, and I'm like, ah, no water. She's been pumping out the crawl space under her home nonstop, but she says the water keeps rising every day. There was a helicopter flying over earlier. I don't know if that was WBZ or not, but I was out there with my flag <laughs> waving it to him like, help us out here. Somebody do something. It's like we're not being heard. But the state says Suzanne and her neighbors are being heard. They've got pumps going now and heavy equipment to clear out the blocked culvert on Route 119. Local officials say they're doing all they can. The culvert's been here for a number of years now. Um, we do have issues uh, periodically, but you know we also have to remember this is the largest amount of rainfall we've had in this short period of time in a very, very long time. So it's kind of hard to you know anticipate something like this all the time. Oh, at this point, I just, I don't know what to do. You know, I can't leave the house. I have to keep the pump going, but uh, we'll see. My truck just about can't make it in here. I think that's it. I'm going to have to start canoeing into my home. <laughs> now, crews here are now building a dam to hold back the water so they can bring in some heavy equipment and clear out that culvert. But one local official just told me the earliest that this could be re reopened is by tomorrow night. Lisa and Jonathan. All right, Karen Anderson, live in Littleton tonight. Thank you, Karen. Six homes there have serious water damage, and most of the families tell us they don't have any kind of flood insurance. A 200-year-old dam.